Hey, what's up guys? On this episode, we're gonna be switching out from a brake clutch setup to this dual differential system. Dual differentials are more efficient and more precise than clutch brake setups. These dual differential steering systems are found on vehicles like the Abrams M1, US Army's main battle tank, and Caterpillar D6 through D9 uh, bulldozers use the same set up with its hydromechanical. The main engine does straight line propulsion and the hydraulic system and motors power the steering. Some of the advantages to this dual differential system is infinitely adjustable turning radius with power to both tracks at all times. With a clutch brake setup, when you're going straight, you have 50% power to each track. When you want to turn and declutch one of the tracks, you have zero power going to that track and you have 100% power going to the other track. With this dual differential design, the ratio can be anywhere. It can be 50-50, which is going straight, or it could be 75-25, but at any point, all both tracks have power. They both have, and there's no loss of power during turning. Torque is, and power is redistributed. It's not lost in heat with clutches and brakes. This dual differential design is based around this planetary gear set. It's found in the GM 4L60E automatic transmission. It's one of the most common transmissions in the world. There's millions of them. So I imagine it's bulletproof and relatively, I know it's relatively inexpensive. It was only $50 for this whole set used just as a you know, mock-up. It's found in Corvettes, Camaros, Silverados. So cars and trucks use this planetary gear set. So the motors are gonna drive these ring gears. The sun gear is the input off this power splitter shaft. Two sun gears, the Axle is splined into the planet carrier and the ring gear is attached to this housing with this sprocket. So two twin hydraulic motors will drive these and twin engines, one for straight line propulsion. The Polaris 130 horsepower two stroke will be attached through the CVT to this high low range transmission with a shifting dog. The lubrication system that I was hoping to design was just an oil bath with gear oil or automatic transmission fluid, whatever in here. If it doesn't hold oil due to the shafts being kind of compromised, they're all dinged up. I used some JB Weld to try to seal them, but maybe there's some type of high performance grease that could work in place of gear oil. Uh, maybe if anyone knows, leave a comment. As far as the venting, the power splitter shaft, this shaft here, I drilled a hole on the inside and then a hole on the outside. There's a hole going down the axis and then two holes coming out inside and outside to vent. So when the shaft's spinning, hopefully centrifugal force will keep the oil from flowing in, inside that hole. Zero turn. This is limp, limp mode. The hydraulic system hopefully can power these in limp mode at one or two miles an hour. Change the direction to driving both motors forward and holding the sun gear. So you could just limp back if you lose an engine. Three to one gear reduction from the sun gear to the planet carrier, which is the output. Two inputs and one output. The sun gear is the main input, the ring gear is the steering input, and the planet carrier is the output.
the forward planetary gear set out of a GM 4L60E automatic transmission found in Camaros, Corvettes, Silverado 1500s, etc. Here's the planet carrier, which is splined to the output shaft, has a thrust bearing on the end. Here's the ring gear, which has brass or bronze bushings inside it. And the output shaft, which normally goes to the U-joint in the rear of the transmission. Changing from flux core to gas shielded wire, obviously welding is not my strong point. It's not that far off guys. I think uh, it's gonna fly, let's leave it. This aluminum axle is just for alignment of these bearings and other uh, two more bearings that will be in place. didn't have a big enough lathe to do this operation so I made this contraption just to bore out the end of the axle to fit the planetary gear shaft or transmission output shaft.
on the next episode we'll be installing the hydraulic system i already ordered all the parts the reservoir the hydraulic pump the spool valve filter the motors thanks for watching everyone